Under the olive tree knits, how to add a buttonhole to your knitting. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a buttonhole to your knitting. In this example, I'll be working a buttonhole over two rows by binding off stitches on the right side row and then adding them back in again on the wrong side row. This will give you a nice stretchy gap for a big button. The pattern that I'm working on is a diamond lace purse pattern and it's a free pattern from undertheolivetreeknits.com. I'll add a link to the notes if you'd like to download a copy. On a right side row, work to the point where you want to add the buttonhole. We're going to be binding off three stitches in the middle of this row using a knitted bind off. You can of course bind off more or less stitches depending on how big you want your buttonhole but in this example I'll be binding off three stitches. Knit the next two stitches. One, two. Now lift stitch one over stitch two to bind off a stitch. Knit the next stitch. Then lift the stitch next to it up and over the top to bind off another stitch. Finally, knit one more stitch and then lift the stitch next to it over the top to bind off the three stitches. Binding off these stitches has left us with a nice big gap in the middle of the row. And now I'm just going to continue working the rest of the row as per the pattern. I'm now working the next wrong side row and I've reached the point where I need to join the gap by casting on some stitches and to do this I'm going to use a knitted cast on. Turn the work so that the right side is facing you. We're going to be casting on the same amount of stitches that we cast off. Knit into the first stitch on the left hand needle. Wrap the yarn around and pull a stitch through, but don't drop this stitch from the right hand needle. Instead, transfer it to the left hand needle. Again, knit into the first stitch on the left hand needle. Wrap the yarn around and pull a stitch through, but don't drop the stitch from the right hand needle but transfer it to the left hand needle. Repeat this process to add one more stitch so that we've cast on three stitches in total. Then Turn the work back to wrong side facing and there you can see the three stitches that we've just added and then you can continue to work the rest of the wrong side row as per the pattern. And there you have your finished buttonhole.